All right, guys. So this is the run back between Tan and Joe. And this is Loser's Finals. And yeah, three out of five. AE is pretty cool. And little button check. Show you guys the venue right now. Shout out to everybody who made it out. This is our first one. What is it, Losers Finals? Losers Finals. Oh. Alright. The run back. The run back. So. This ended up in counter picks at the end, and Tan took it from the winners last time. Oh, really? Who did Tan pick originally? Um, Balrog, and then he counter picked with Rufus. Oh, yeah. Against uh, Kang switched to Sakura earlier. Oh, so now, yeah. Okay, so Tan was Balrog, and then and then Joe switched to Sakura. Yeah. Joe was a uh, Ryu, and then he switched to Sakura. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Tan switched to Rufus, so yeah. All right. Oh, nice off the jab. Yeah, it was, I believe it's three out of five. Oh, nice, nice evasion. Now, it's a tricky matchup for Ryu, really. That, I don't know. It's a uh, like, cause that's because Balrog has so many, so many options yeah. and tools to get through the fireballs. Yeah, it doesn't really affect him. Yeah, you can say that. Maybe, maybe a six four. I don't know. Yeah, six four would be would be would be fair. And even then, it's debatable because a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people really like. Like Ryu in this matchup, other people. Definitely. Even though it's more common than not that people say that Balrog is has has uh, the upper hand. Mm -hmm. And you know, no and, you know, Cal, we're known for Balrog. And so. knowing Joe, no, Joe is a really good Ryu, really, yeah. really good Ryu. And, yeah. and the fact that he had to switch to Sakura just, yeah. you know, yeah. further proves that you know it is a tr it is a hard matchup for Ryu. Is that can't, like Joe is so dominant, but you know Tan really showed him that mm -hmm. matchup. It's really tough. Yeah. Really good spacing by Tan. He loves sweep. Yeah, he's, he's dodging. He's, he's just neutral jumping those Hadoukens. Yeah. Smart. He doesn't want to jump in on anything. He doesn't want to. And he doesn't want to lose his his uh, yep. his uh, his ground. Yep. There you Kane's go. Kane's there you go. fireball game is good too, and he has all the options to like some safe jumps. So, so yeah. But, but yet again, Tan took it. So there we we might see a switch up. Because mm -hmm. his Sakura did beat. His Sakura did beat? Will he do yeah. the switch? Yeah. Uh, I believe so. I don't know. Yeah. It should be. Hamu, Hamu Rama? Ultra 1? What? He, uh, he, went, he went Sakura with Ultra 1. Oh. I, I really I never usually see... Yeah. The damage output probably, but Ultra 2 is more but situational. But the, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Ultra 2 is so much easier to land. Yeah. Oh, the uh, after a knockdown, Sakura is scary. Oh. Uh, air to air, almost. Nice trip guard. Yeah. He's on point with anti airs. Yeah. So many good normals. <laughs> Tan not afraid of his Sakura at all. Oh, baited. Look at that, willing to go all in. Yep. For an all that meter. He's straight up. He, Tan is not afraid. Yeah. And then Joe missing missing the jumping jumping Fierce into Crouching Fierce. Yeah. Which could have potentially led into a lot of damage. Yeah. And nope, ends right there with the. Joe just needs to play his game. Need to set the offense like quick. All the counter hit setups. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Oh. No, no. Yep. 
Tan is not giving up on spacing. She's trying to stay back. Nice. Oh, oh setup. So, yeah. Joe went for a lot of resets. There you go. He go All right, charge up. Oh, no charge up. That's the human bomb setup. Yeah. Yeah, you can either do that, like a dash up, or yeah, the, the, the fireball. Yeah, he decided he, he opted for the to the light tatsu. Yeah. Was he trying to do it on, on wake up so that way he'd be in blocks then? And so he Maybe. could tattoo again and again? Maybe. But he didn't, he had a tendon tech up. Alright. Yeah, really good spacing. Yeah. Tan's just, yeah, holding, holding Tan is just holding his ground, not, you know. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, wow. Recognizing Sakura's, uh. Her dangerous uh, crouching MK, uh, yeah. MK, which can lead it to. Yeah, <laughs> so you can uh, confirm. Yeah. Yo, that's after. I wish. That's a funny way of calling Parasol the game. AKA my waifu. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And it's 2 0. But then again. But then again, Peacock is my mistress. But I don't tell I don't tell her that. Alright, this is match point. Or game point. Is it neutral jumping the Z, neutral jumping those Hadoukens. And this is top three. So losers. There you go, gets that meter. Went for the grab. More meter. Wow, right ready in the corner. Oh. Right, right now Tan is keeping him in the corner, doesn't want him to get out of the corner, wants to stay, keep him there, is willing to back off, just to make sure, just to make sure he doesn't get over the picket fence. Oh, never mind. Sucker just climbed over the fence. Nice. You can get in the commentary. And now the tables have turned. It's almost there. But the life lead, but but the health, like as, as for the health, it's easy to see who's a clear, uh, who's in the clear advantage right now. And this is... Yep. This is for to move on to uh, Grand Finals out of losers. So what should Sakura do in this matchup? Capitalize on it. Really, just find a way to just all Sakura really needs to do is find a way to open open uh, Balrog up yeah. and make him make him be afraid, make him block. Mm -hmm. Just make him block. Make him stun. No, oh, nice. you know. Make force force Balrog's hand into yeah. blocking, and then that way she can she can go she can do so much stuff. Definitely, yeah. And she has so many tools to do that. Yeah. Because if Balrog if, if Balrog's not not holding a charge or uh, you know doing something or constantly doing his jab pressure, then he's clearly at a disadvantage. Uh, he's clearly always at an advantage. Yo, and hey, Kane or Tan takes it. And. Tan gets the fight. Kelvin again, another run back for Grand Finals. Pretty much.